Pride. Familia. Community. Esperanza. Hope. Comunidad. Family. We are Jefferson. Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Jefferson Connected. Today we'll be going over to the Jefferson Elementary Library to talk to our new librarian. But first, we are going to take a moment to talk to Keegan Nostinger, an 8th grader from the Jefferson Middle School who just made state band. Hi Keegan, so what instrument do you play and how long have you been playing? Uh, I play the trumpet and I've been playing for about two years. Tell us, um, what did it take to make it to state? Uh, well, we they sent us music, and then we had I had two weeks to practice because we didn't get we didn't figure out that that was happening this year till there was two weeks left for the deadline. But we submitted the music, and they picked me to be part of the state band. So when will you be performing at State? I will be performing at State on in January, I think the 14th. So I bet you're pretty excited to be going to State. Yes, I am. Well, congratulations, and we look forward to hearing how you did at the State Band. Next, we are off to talk to Deletta Gonzalez, the Jefferson Elementary School Librarian. Okay, we are here with Deletta Gonzalez, the new teacher librarian at Jefferson Elementary School. Now, I know you're new to the Jefferson Elementary Library, but I know you're not new to being a librarian. So tell us about some of your experience and how you became a librarian. Well, I became a librarian about 20 years ago in Salem-Kaiser School District. I worked at Washington Elementary for about 10 years as the teacher librarian, making their program great bringing in graphic novels, making everything exciting, and getting kids excited about reading. And then budget cuts hit, and so I was forced to go back into the classroom, and then I was teaching in West Salem. I taught fourth and fifth grade for eight years in West Salem. And about three years ago, I decided to make a change, and I came to Jefferson Elementary to get just a different feel, not commute so far. So this is my third year here at Jefferson Elementary. I taught second grade for the last two years. Now I know getting a library up and going is must be a lot of hard work. So what did it take to get the library um, ready for the new school year? Well, the library was already here and we had assistants running it. So we didn't have an actual licensed teacher in here for a long time. So the first thing I had to do coming in was go through and weed out a lot of the really old books. We had books that were 20, 30, 40 years old on our shelves for the kids. And I went through and took about 60 to 70% of the books out of the everybody in fiction books so that we would have room for the new books that we had coming in. In the spring, Mr. Sullivan gave me $2,000 to kind of kickstart our books. And so I did some ordering online. I ordered some book subscriptions to get us started for the fall. And then as soon as I came in in the fall, I got so lucky. And Brad helped me um, get some title money and some grants. And so we had, we were really blessed, $13,000 to spend on books. It had to be some bent pretty quick. So I went with one book company I got diverse books so that our students of color can see themselves in our collection. I got graphic novels so that kids can get excited about reading. It's kind of a stepping stone to going into those chapter books. I got high interest, low readability for all levels because kids have been out of school for the last two years. They really need to get their hands on something that's exciting. I just needed to rebuild our collection. And all of those books have made such a difference. Although you would not believe that $13,000 was only 650 books. It doesn't go very far, <laughs> does it? It doesn't. 
So what are your um, hopes and dreams for the library, the library program, and what you'd like to do here at Jefferson Elementary? Well, I'm really excited to get back and build a whole new program again in my teaching. So a lot of my concentration this year has been on high interest, getting kids excited about reading. I want the kids to say, mm, I'm not so, I mean, the kids that say, I'm not so excited about reading. I want them to say, but Mrs. Gonzalez said this would be a good book, so I'm going to try it. I want them to get to that point where they start picking out books and reading just for pleasure so that they'll go on and read something else because they just get caught up in it. I actually tell the kids that I want them reading. I don't care if it's a chapter book, if it's a picture book, if it's a graphic novel, or it's a cereal box. I want them reading. As long as they're reading, that's my joy. But when it comes to a library program, there's a lot more to library than just reading. I really want our kids to have those life skills that will take them from the library here to the library at the middle school to the library at the high school. And then I want them to use libraries when they go out in the real world, either it's college or they go to the public library. That's what the library really is about. And I will be teaching them computer skills, especially typing. Even though they've been on computers for the last two years, they don't necessarily know how to type properly so that they can speed their work along. And they don't know how to make sure websites are proper or safe or true. There's a lot of misinformation out there on the internet and we want kids to know how to evaluate those. So a lot of digital citizenship. A lot of digital citizenship. and. With the grant money we got, we also were able to get some Kindles in for the library and for the music room. We got seven Kindles for the library and seven for the music room so that we can use these in our program. Kids can read books on here, they can listen to audiobooks, they can go to certain websites or different videos I might need them to watch for teaching. And if we need to, we can combine the sets and we'll have a half a class set at any time for music class or the library. Oh, that's great. Now, I know that it takes a lot of manpower to like really get a library up and going. So what does, uh, do you need or want the community to know about volunteering and things that the library could really use? Well, I will say that the library has a wish list on Amazon with a lot of great books on it, and I'll make sure there are even more books now. We, in the future, once we can have the public come in, it would be amazing to have some volunteers come in for shelving library books, and for helping get some of that kind of grunt work that needs done in the library. Like, honestly, shelving books is probably takes the most manpower of all. But there are other things, like sometimes we need to cover books with plastic, sometimes we need to put labels on books. There's just a lot of things that have to happen to make a library really work. And I'll tell you, donations of books are fantastic. If I can't put them in the library, then I can make sure that those donated books get into the hands of our students. Every kid wants to take a book home. And if they were getting nice books that maybe they're used, but they're still in great shape, they're gonna love that just as much as getting something from the book fair, but without having to spend the money. That's very important. We also hold a couple of book fairs every year. And so when we're having the book fairs, even if you can't come into the school because you're out in the public, you can go onto our website and you can see the book fair and you can order through Scholastic's website and some of that money will come back to our school for board books. Oh, that's great. We've already had one book fair this year, and I had a few cases in here, but no parents could come in. We sold $4,000 worth of books at that book fair, and $2,000 of that money will come back to our library in books. That is fantastic. Well, you've done such a wonderful job with the library. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you. I'm, I'm very blessed to be here. This is my dream job, and it makes me as happy as can be. Thank you. Thank you.